So let's say you are a candidate to do some regenerative injection therapies for the bulge, the herniation, and the impingement on the nerve roots. The approach that we take is kind of twofold. The first one is we look at actually reducing the inflammation around the nerve or nerves that are being compressed and are therefore contributing to some of the, the weakness that you are having. And so that might be a nerve hydrodissection, that might be uh, what's called a uh, transforaminal epidural, or that might be a regular epidural. And in those, we use different substances than what your traditional doc would use. So we're generally not using steroids or things like that. We're using, whether it's a low concentration dextrose, or we are looking at doing some form of a blood-based product. So a PRP or a platelet poor plasma, things that are gonna also help to regenerate. You know, if there's been any damage to the nerve, it can help with that. That's the one component. And then the second component is we look at what contributing factors in the spine are, are contributing to the changes that are reducing the space. So let's say we have a disc bulge or disc herniation, maybe we have some inflammation in the facet joint that is causing some tissue swelling in the area that is also encroaching on, on the nerve. Maybe we've lost some of the natural curve in the spine, and so we would look to inject the structures that help support that, those curves. So the ligaments, the facet joints, the capsules around the facet joints, things like that. So we, we kind of take it from a structural standpoint on, hey, let's get the spine, let's try to get it in a little bit better position, so that way the pinching on the nerves is not as bad. And let's also look at uh, creating more space around the nerves that are being pinched and reducing their inflammation that could be present uh, in order to help uh, improve the symptoms.